on a normal day, this is one of the most busiest routes in Owerede Demo State Capital. But from what you can see this morning, this express road is deserted. You can see shops are totally locked down. You can see there is no commercial activity ongoing here. There is no single vehicle on this express road. This is in compliance with the seat at home order declared by the proscribed indigenous people of Biafra. And what you are seeing here is a replica of what is happening in, in almost all the places in, in our way here, the state capital. This is a seat at home order or, the, or, or what you are seeing here did not just start today. For the past two days now, Owere has remained a ghost of itself. People have, have rather remained inside, remained in their houses than to come out. Most people say that it is better for them to remain indoors, to be alive than, than to come out and die. You can just see, see few residents, most especially young men, youths over there, who are just out here discussing. What are they discussing? I can hear them talking about the seat at home order. So a, a stone throw here, you, you have two banks. You have two banks, you have access bank, you have first bank, but the two banks are shut down. They did not open for business today. Uh, below here is a popular, uh, okay. A stone throw here is a popular, the popular uh, Hadeh Junction. We are on a normal day, there is a beehive. There should be a beehive of commercial activities. But on a Monday morning like this, which ordinarily should be a busy day, in which you would have seen children, uh, parents taking their children to school, in which you would have seen commercial activities, you could have seen these shops open. But this morning, everywhere is totally locked down. This very car you are seeing now is the first car I've been able to see, I've been able to see this morning that is flying this route. Other than, other than this vehicle, I've not been able to see any vehicular movement, not even motorcycle. I've been able to fly this route. People are indoors, not only indoors, uh, locked themselves up, their windows, their doors, all locked. And to also was in the development. The, 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 the people who supply electricity have refused to supply electricity in this area. So it is a very boring day and moment for people in this area. Why they are indoors, there is no electricity for them to keep themselves busy. One of the most funniest thing here is that people are complaining why they have money. They have no place they can buy food and to eat. So all, all the shops here are closed. A stone throw here is a popular, is a popular mall, a safe mall mall, but it is shut down on a Monday morning. It is shut down on a Monday morning. After that safe mall, there's also another big um, a shopping mall that is known as a, uh, uh, everyday supermarkets. It's a very, it's one of the biggest supermarkets in Nobody. It is also shut down on a Monday morning like this. After it, you also have the one close to Institute Junction. That's the most university junction that is called Priceless Store. It's also one of the busy, uh, biggest uh, supermarkets in Nobody, the most state capital. And this morning, I can authoritatively report to you that it is under lock and key. So this is how it is here on the ever busy Oware or Kiwe Road in Oware, the most state capital. On a, on, a, on a normal Monday morning, I want to tell you that on a normal Monday morning, there would have been traffic gridlock on this express road. There would have been traffic gridlock. You would have seen uh, motorists uh, battling you know, to, nav to navigate through to go to walk and to have and to meet up with the other children can even come out on a, for 90 minutes without any vehicle. That is what it is here. Okay, that is what it is here. 
at uh, the uh, on a, one of the most busier one of the one of the busiest routes in our weather. If you walk, if you if you if you apply this route, that you are going to get the Imsu Junction. That is Imo State University Junction. After the Imo State University Junction, you get to the government has government has roundabout, and from there you can now navigate and go uh, and go to any place you want in uh, you want to go to in town and out and out of the town. Why this route? The uh, keyword uh, uh, part of it. From here you you can go to uh, towns like Akabo, Amangozuzu. Amalim, Amarako, Ata, Angara, Okwele, Omona, Okiwe, and from there you can you can go to Abia State, you can go to Enugu State, and you can go to Ebony State. But that is this is what it is this morning. While uh, earlier was of this morning, there was a heavy damper. There was a heavy damper earlier was of this morning here, and um, after that, there is nothing happening here. It is, a, it is a dry place. This place is dry this morning. No single shop open for business. No single shop open for business. Nobody came out to sell, not even those of, those of them who sell food on the roadside. That is cooked uh, food stuff on the roadside. None of them came out. It is a total shutdown. No bank here, out of the two banks we have here, none open for business today no shopping mall out of the three shopping malls we have within this environment three big shopping malls we have within this environment none open for business this morning uh, 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 among all the numerous shops we have in this area none open this morning for business that is how it is here this is the popular Owere okiwe express road in Owere, the emo state capital if you are familiar with Owere, you will know that this is one of the most busy, this is one of the busiest routes in Owere Dimo State Capital. And it is one of the it is one of the federal routes. It is one of the federal routes in Owere Dimo State Capital. And then it is one of the exit routes and entrance routes to Owere Dimo State Capital. But this morning it is deserted. It is deserted, it is dry, nothing is happening here. And this is in absolute compliance with the sit at home order declared by the proscribed indigenous people of Biafra. Apart from these people you are seeing here, there are no other people you could see here uh, within this route. That is what is happening here. That is how it is. Even somebody on a, on a very humorous note, somebody even said that the best. The best are also on a seat at home because they are not flying, they are not hissing, and nothing is happening. You can even hear the sound of a pin if it falls on the ground here. There is panic here, there is fear. Uh, let me also bring to your uh, let me also remind you that this is the place, this place is, is the place where unknown government on Tuesday last week, on Tuesday last week, uh, attacked. A police station here, the OG Divisional Police Station, and in and in uh, and in that in, in that process, uh, security operatives engaged them in a gun battle, and after that, three persons were left dead, were killed by stray bullets, two women and one man. So this also is forming part of the panic, you know, over here, and coupled with uh, the incident of yesterday, where a visitor to the states. Uh, a former presidential aide, uh, uh, Ahmed Gulak, was killed on his way to catch a flight at the Sam Samon Bakwe International Cargo Airport in Owere here. And other things that are happening here. Also yesterday, uh, two persons, no fewer than two persons were left dead. No, no fewer than two persons were left dead when 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 uh, hoodlums we are sharing uh, onions onions they intercepted from a lorry conveying it and in the process uh, security men came and was trying and we are trying to disperse the craft so in that process we were told that two persons 
we are shot dead. The, this news is in the papers today, is in the dailies today. So this is what is happening, it's a state of panic. There's a fear in the land. And one of the reasons too, why people are also staying, one of the reasons why people are also staying indoor is the fear of uh, indiscriminate arrests. Indiscriminate arrests, there are allegations that uh, residents are being arrested randomly here. Residents are being arrested randomly here by security operatives. Why the leadership of the Mostar Police Command uh, has denied has denied that the residents are still insisting that people are being arrested randomly here while others are freed after they are made to uh, give money. Others are still being held in, uh, in facilities in facilities in the state being owned by the security agencies. So you could. To see this a sign of this, this is happening on this street. Mm. Please, can, can anybody talk to us? Why are you, why, why are you afraid? Eh? Why? Why? So why 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 why, why is everywhere dry now? Nah? Who, who told you to sit at home? To sit at home? Did they provide you food? Why you sit at home? <laughs> so why did they ask you to sit at home? Eh? I don't know. I know the food. And as an obedient Nigerian, you not sat at home. But, but you're outside now, you're not in your house. In my house. Eh? In my house. Here. Yeah. Yes, outside here is your house. Eh? I'm not up to not even up to six feet. Away from your home. Okay. You came to have a glimpse of what is of what is happening here. The same thing you came to the dialogue. Uh, no, me, I came to video you. <laughs> <laughs> This is why you're wearing JC, you know, uh, JC. Is it because you're one? <laughs> so this is the only this is the only place you could see uh, people people here. Other than that, people are indoors. But there's a problem this morning. People can't even find where they can eat this morning, where they can buy food and eat. Other than food, I'm sure you have some drinks upstairs and order. I have drinks upstairs. No, don't worry. After the, after this broadcast, I will bring it. <laughs> so this is. This is the only thing happening here. This place is deserted. The popular over uh, Kibwe, over the road, in you know, over the Imo state capital, Southeast Nigeria. It is deserted this morning. There are no sign of commercial activity. All stores are locked. All stores are locked. Banks are shut down in this area. And I've been made to understand, some of my, other of my colleagues have told me that all the banks at Bank Road, Wedra Road, Douglas Road are equally shut down. There is no bank in Oware to this morning that is open for business. There is no business enterprise in Oware this morning that is open for business. It is a total shutdown in Oware, the Imo State Capital. In obedience to the sit at home order declared by the proscribed indigenous people of Biafra. Why government, the Imo State government, and uh, security agencies ask people to go about their normal business, their lawful businesses, that they had the capacity to protect their lives. This morning, people have decided to remain indoors. People are indoors. There is no business going on. There is no shop opened. Nothing is happening here. Ordinarily on a Monday morning, you would have seen not, not less than Five, five to 1,000 vehicles flying through this route. But this morning, it is a total shutdown. It is a total shutdown here. Nothing is happening. No business enterprise open. Not even the roadside shops open. None of the two banks on this, on this road open. None of the three, none of the three plazas and supermarkets on this route open. Why? Why the Imo State University announced yet last week that exam will be going on this morning, but I want to announce that 
no university undergraduate of Imo State University have been seen this morning going to school. There are difficulties to this effect. One is that there is no vehicle they can board to go to school, and their security too is not guaranteed because they are saying that they could be shot if they are seen moving about. And I've been informed that a place called Flyover, that army people, soldiers, are mounting a roadblock, they are a road checkpoint. So it, it could be also one of the threats to them having access, you know, to go to school and take exam this morning. What happened to what happens to this paper they ought to have taken this morning is what we are going to find out by the management of the university later on. So as it is here, there is nothing going on here. No business is open. No vehicular movement. There are no motorists. You can only see you can you can only see few persons. You can only see few persons walking about the street. What are they walking about to do? They are just walking about maybe to know the state of affairs here. Not that they are going about for any commercial activity, but they are trying to have a situation report for themselves. From from over the Okiwe Road, you know, where the Imo State Capital. This is Chidi Bobokoma reporting for the Punch newspapers. Thank you very much.